A lot of new information tonight about the right whale calf hit and killed by a boat off our coast. You'll remember that calf washed ashore in St. Augustine Beach. Today, a NOAA aircraft found that calf's mother. News for Jack reporter Bree Isom joining us live with new details. Bree, there's video of the mom swimming off our coast. Yes, we have that video and we will show it to you. So a NOAA aircraft filled with some right whale observers flew up today from Volusia County and found the mom infinity in Georgia. And they say that her injuries were similar to the injuries that were on the calf. When the right whale calf washed up on Anastasia State Park Beach on Saturday, the mother of that calf was nowhere to be found until three days later. Tom Pitchford, a wildlife biologist for the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission, says a NOAA aircraft with right whale observers from the Clearwater Marine Aquarium spotted Infinity about 25 miles off of Cumberland Island, Georgia. She has injuries that are consistent with the injuries that we're seeing on the calf. The FWC says the right whale calf was hit by a sports fisherman boat. News for Jax found out that boat was called About Time out of New Smyrna Beach. Pitchford says the boat was inbound to St. Augustine's Inlet when it struck the whale around 6.20 on Friday night. The FWC says the necropsy on the dead whale calf showed wounds that were consistent with being hit by a boat propeller. Pitchford says the wounds from the propeller on the calf look like the mother's wounds. So they think that she was with the calf when it got hit. Well, we suspected that from the beginning. So uh, because mothers and calves are at that critical life stage when they're really in close body contact. Pitchford says the crews today took pictures of Infinity, the mother of the dead calf, both by drone and by boat to study the wounds and the characteristics of the mammal. The boat that struck the right whale is now at St. Augustine's Marine Center being repaired. Pitchford says that boat would have sunk if the captain didn't ground it on a sandbar. A boater tells me that sandbar was near Conch House. Pitchford says people need to remain aware of their surroundings when they're in a boat, especially during right whale calving season. So if you're slowing down to around 10 knots or 10 miles per hour, um, you've got a, a, a much less chance of hitting a right whale and damaging your boat or injuring your passengers. So NOAA Fisheries has regulations that say you cannot be within 1,500 feet of a, white of a right whale. And in perspective, that's about five football fields. I'm live in Jacksonville. Bree Isom, Channel 4, The Local Station.